Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected to your magistrate. Magistrate. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored. And now.
I'm not supposed to be in here. Talk. What business could you possibly have with me? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. I think a better question is, why am I being interrogated by a stranger who just barged into my villa? I have quite enough marriage trouble already, without having to explain to my husband why I am receiving strange men in private. Preferably the way you came in, by which I mean, please leave. I think it's about to be broken if you don't hurry up and leave. The dainty little thing from next door. Of course not. As much as I despise her father, I would never lay a finger on that poor, sweet child. Well, I've had quite enough of this. Domitius, come quickly. We're being robbed. Do I need to call Domitius? Get out. Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? I'm Maliolus. And if it wasn't for this interruption, I'd be practicing my victory speech for the election later today. I'm glad you asked. I'll finally restore freedom to this city, just as I've been promising. These good people have suffered long enough under Sentius's tyranny. 
by declaring there's no such thing as the golden rule. It's a children's fable exploited by Sentius to frighten us into submission. Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie. The person making a claim bears the onus of proving that claim. Can you do that? Can you prove the golden rule is real? Nonsense! There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. You mean that book next to a golden statue in the theater? Tell me, how do you know that statue wasn't put there by Sentius himself? You can't know, can you? What? Oh, ho, ho, I see what's happening here. Another poor, vulnerable soul taken in by Sentius's machinations. He won't get away with this much longer. I disagree. I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom to do as they wish. Surely, you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. True, but that is simply because you are mistaken. I'm afraid not. We're stuck down here together, for better or worse. We're all going to have to make the best of it. You mean the children's fable, exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants? Of course not. But as I always say, if Sentius can't protect his daughter, how can we trust him to protect this city? Look, if you're trying to find her, you may wish to check the cisterns beneath this villa. Domitius says he saw a body there some weeks back. Of course, just to be clear, I take no responsibility for what happens to you down there. <laughs> Are you insane? You barge into my villa uninvited and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Don't talk nonsense. There's no such thing as the golden rule. How could you possibly know that? Nonsense! This is nonsense! I don't know how you know about my plans, but I'm absolutely sure Sentius is involved somehow. And now, I'm going to enjoy watching Domitius kill him even more. Now, get out of here! You outstayed your very limited welcome. Get out of my villa before I have Domitius throw you out.
powerless to become magistrate. Do I need to call Domitius? Get out! gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and Marcus Maliolus Gerges. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Maliolus! Dacius? Maliolus. Galerius? I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil? Maliolus. Rufius? Maliolus. And finally, Domitius? Maliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail Magistrate Maliolus. <sighs> Said, Hail Magistrate Maliolus. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the golden rule is no more. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot! For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence? To fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now, for your entertainment! You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait. I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You'll doom us all. Lies. It is time the Golden Rule was exposed to what it is, a children's fable, exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The Magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one.
Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Oh, poor guy. My uncle was a victim at rheumatism's altar, and he ended up killing himself. All right, got it. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? Uh, you're toying with me, right? Wait, you're not kidding, are you? That's the only way you could have known. You're a bit like, oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over again for all eternity just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Bellides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you, and you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune smile on you, friend. Salve. 
And welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. Uh, what demon or spirit told you about that? You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you spoken to him about it? I would talk to him myself, but I think that would just inflame the situation. It's probably best if you do it, if you don't mind. Nice to talk to you. Welcome back. Nice to talk to you. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. Greetings and salutations. Hey, Virgil. Greetings. You want to I'm Georgie. It gladdens me to see. My friend, you your words intrigue me more and more. You know why. I hope that our paths so cross again soon, my friend. There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. Uh. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slot. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule, and we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. Is that what you want? Don't you dare. Citizen. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. No idea what you're talking about? Ah, look, it's the rheumatism. I know that's not an excuse for how I am. I'll leave him alone from now on. I'm going to go and clean up the... Welcome back. Uh, what demon was... You went snooping in his play? Really? How did you manage that? Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Well done for figuring that out. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him.
Nice to talk to you. Citizen. A new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Interesting. Yes, I suppose that could be something. But then most of us do tend to carry coins on our person, don't we? What else? Yes, I... What else? That's true. I know I wasn't... It's as I feared. Let me ask you this. Did you... And did you happen to catch her name? I see. Because I've seen her before. There's something I think you should see. I think you'd better follow me to the baths. Uh, what? Please, go and stop him, and come back to me once we're no longer in danger. Let me know when you've cleared... Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? What is it, citizen? All right. Mariolus isn't receiving vi- He's not here. Dunno. The little cap at murder escaped earlier this morning, while I was taking Yulia to the clinic. He can't have gone far, but if you find him, tell him the punishment he gets for coming back on his own won't be as bad as if I have to go looking for him. Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Oh, don't mind me. I just live here. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? I trust you can see yourself out. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. We have? Wait, if I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed, and you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? Ah, I 
I see. Look, it's unfortunate, but all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That man is a liability we simply cannot afford. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught multiple times, sneaking around in places he should not have been. Look, I can see where you're going with this. You think me cruel. I assure you, that is not the case. You may not be aware of this, but it was not so long ago, during the Republic, the law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born, owing to his deformities. Here, we see to it that he has food, water, and shelter, and, most importantly, he is able to continue living. A privilege that would be taken away from all of us, were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. The man has no self-discipline, poor comprehension of what is going on around him, and is an incorrigible rule-breaker. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go free. Now, was there something else? Of course, what is it? If you stopped one person from breaking it and you're still here, then there must be someone else about to break it still. Allow me to explain. When I discovered the ritual to Proserpina, the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that your very being here is impossible, you will have created a paradox. To illustrate, when the Golden Rule is broken, I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the doorway, and you will never have come here. A paradox. You see? The same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here. Obviously. If either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand, you would be flung back to your original time, having changed the course of history for us, and yourself. So the fact that you are still here means someone is going to break the golden rule, and there is yet work to do. Understand? Excellent. So, it looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Ask then. Good. Now, was there something else you wanted to discuss? Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. Citizen. Do you have any news about your investigation? Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. On 
your best behavior, I trust. Isn't the great temple majestic? Let me know when you... What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that cool as cumulatus. It's too late. She just slipped away. No, no. Oh, no. There was one, but that was me. Well, she used to run the clinic until she sudden. This changes everything. The last time I saw her, and then she shut herself in. She's been gone so long now. We figure she's either. But I really wish I could reach her. Because the one of my patients. I really sh He's become so irrit. I just. You did? That's unexpected. But tell me, what is it? Willow back. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. Sure. What? Gladly. All right. Well, thanks again for helping remove the thorn. Keeping an eye on things, Horatius? As always, Priestess. Any news about Centilla? Navia or Kabash? No sign of any of them, I'm afraid. But we do have a newcomer. Strangely dressed fellow. Funny accent, too. A traveler from a faraway land, then? Seems that way. Then let's make sure he feels welcome, shall we? Of course, Priestess. Hey friend, I'm Octave. Welcome to life. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh no, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. I'm sorry, but I just don't... Please, Ulpius, help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. Thank you. You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. Well, if you say so, you don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. 
it's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact, and she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. No. No. Time's up. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Opius, no! I... I can't believe he went... That was not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted, moments after you arrived. Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin. I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. you do? Ah, back again, I see. Certainly. Or... Oh, you have it. I'm impressed. Pleasure doing business. Can I help you with anything else? Very well. Another time. Feeling all right? Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. All right. Well, thanks again for helping remove the thorn from the line. Salve. Ah, oh, you again. See you around. Welcome back. Nice to talk to you. Help! A man arrived. You have to... Thank you. I have to hide. Find me... What? <sighs> what now? All right. Ove. Citizen. Ah, you've returned. Of course. What is it? Yes. What? An assassin? What are you talking about? Then what are you doing here, talking to me? Why aren't you out there trying to stop him? You'd best go. Quickly. You mean to say you've tried every non-lethal measure you can? Hmm. 
Well then, perhaps you'd better keep trying. Good, thank you. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, but it does... You think you wish to know, but you do not. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before... Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? You stay away from my money! The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art. 